Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Design for 3D Printing. Today we're going to talk about how fillets can really radically improve how well a part is made. Now a fundamental rule of 3D printing when designing for mass production is to get as close to a sphere as you can. You want to round off everything. But we really wanted to just demonstrate why that's relevant today as far as how it relates to print time. So if you have a standard cube here, and we go ahead and slice it with just some generic settings here, you have the infill, everything else. It takes about two hours and 49 minutes. Now that's fine, that's not terrible. But the other issue is, is that if you have really sharp corners, at each one of these corners, the head moves along here and then has to bang against the edge of this corner and suddenly change direction. If there is slop in the machine, stretch in the belts, any sort of wobble in the bed, uh, then you're gonna have some sort of arc artifact appear at these corners because the nozzle is moving suddenly stops and suddenly goes the other direction and it's not a smooth motion. So in order to reduce that type of artifact as well as reduce that print time just a little bit especially if you're going into mass production the best thing to do is actually go into your design and just create a fillet on it. This is a very simple feature. It really doesn't hurt the function of the part at all. You can make it as large or small as you want to. Obviously, we want to go as large as we possibly can, but uh, a cylinder is quite a bit different from a uh, square, so you might not want to take it that far. But rounding off the corners is wildly important. And let's just go ahead and see how this looks when we pull it into here. Because when we pull in that new design that now has these fillets on it, Let's go ahead and slice that. The previous number was 249. Just those small three millimeter fillets shaved off four to five minutes in the print of this part. Now four to five minutes in three hours really is not that big of a deal. But again, if you're making 10,000 of these, which we do all the time with our clients here at our print farms, that is a big deal. That can have a substantial impact on the overall cost of the project when you have a very large quantity of parts being made. And secondly, it creates this nice rounded tool path. So then rather than the nozzle having to go straight into a corner and immediately change direction, it's able to gradually change direction. So it creates a much smoother surface finish and reduces the opportunity for those type of bang bang features, which is what they're called, um, from appearing on the surface of your part. So it eliminates things like ringing and any other sort of blobbing or collection of material from that nozzle having to basically stop and suddenly change in the opposite direction. It also just improves a uh, life cycle of the machine, which is not something a client has to concern about, be concerned about, but something that we consider. Because if the nozzle is having to be jerked around, it's tougher on your machine. So you can increase the lifetime of a machine by having good parts that are well designed and uh, assist in the making of the part and make it easier for the machine. So that's just a quick introduction of how fillets, no matter how small, can really help both print time and quality of a part. Uh, we'll expand on fillets a little bit more. Ultimately, again, it goes down to that fundamental design rule, which is to round off everything just as much as possible. It will always create better results in every possible way when producing parts for mass production 3D printing. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna keep on making videos like this. And if you have any ideas for videos or design features that you'd like us to discuss more and ways of going about designing a part, uh, leave those down in the comments. Thanks everybody.